Hello everybody. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can send customized bulk emails from your Gmail using Google Apps Script. Now Google Apps Script is a uh, custom JavaScript library that Google has developed that allows you to program Google Apps including your Gmail, your Google Drive, your Sheets, your Documents, etc. In order to write Google Apps Scripts you have to know JavaScript. But fortunately, a lot of app scripts have been written, including some by Google themselves, that you can implement uh, with just a little bit of know-how of how they work. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm in my inbox here, but I'm actually going to go to another tab, and I'm going to Google um, Mail Merge. Oh, as you can see, I've already Googled it prior. This is not the first time I've Googled it. Uh, and you'll see the top hit is this tutorial, so we'll click on that. And this brings you to a Google page that tells you uh, it's a tutorial of how to create a simple mail merge. Uh, you can read through it if you'd like, but I'm going to kind of highlight the basics in this video. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the spreadsheet template. So we'll click on that and you'll open the uh, spreadsheet template. You'll just want to click File, File, make a copy. So now you can name it whatever you like. Copy of Simple Mail Merge, that's fine. And it will create a new spreadsheet for you that is now yours. This spreadsheet was owned by Google, but this one is now my own to do with as I please. So you'll see that we've got a few columns here, and uh, attached to this spreadsheet is also a Google Form, which if you're not familiar with Google Forms, it's a great way to collect information from people uh, over the internet and have it all written to a spreadsheet for you. So we'll just click on Form here and we'll go to the live form to see it. So I can just enter my information here, put in my name, first and last name, and my email. Oh, there's my email address. Autocomplete. And we'll click Submit. So our form has been submitted. If we go back to the spreadsheet, we'll see that it shows up here on the spreadsheet. And now in order to send the emails, we'll need to write the email. So down here, there's a second page of this spreadsheet, which is your email template. So there's a sort of generic email here. You can modify it however you like. But you'll notice that within this email, you've got these dollar sign, curly brace, quote, and then uh, names, and these names uh, correspond to the column names in on the first page. So as you might expect, these will be replaced by the information in these columns. Now for this demonstration I've only got the one entry, but you could have uh, as many rows as you'd like, and it would send a customized email to each row. So in order to send the email, we're going to go up here to Tools, and we're going to go to the script editor. Now there's a script that's already tied to this spreadsheet because we've copied it from Google. And this will open the script editor and you'll see here is the programming that sends the email. It generates and sends them. Now if you want to, you can follow along. It's actually pretty well documented. These double slashes and these descriptions here basically tell you what uh, each, step happen, uh, each step of the code does. So you can sort of follow along. But you don't really need to know what all this code does. Uh, you can just go up here to Run and click on Send Emails. The first time you run this script, it will ask you for authorization. It says it needs to be authorized. Click Continue, and it will tell you exactly what authorization it would like. It would like to view and manage your spreadsheet, and it would like to send email as you. Those are both very reasonable request since we're using a spreadsheet to send email, so we'll just click Allow, and it runs the function for us. Now if I go back to my inbox, you'll see that here it's shown up in my inbox. And when we open it up, we'll see that the email is there, but the um, variables have been replaced with the information from the rows. Pretty simple. So now let's just take a quick look at how you can customize this. Um, so going back here, if we wanted to, say, add more rows, 
more information, we can go to the form and we can edit the form. So we might want to, let's say, add an item. Let's say we want to add a title. We want to be a little more formal. So we'll add a title. We'll make it a choose from a list. And our options will be Mr. Miss... Ooh. Um, Mrs. Miss, I guess that doesn't need a period, and we'll even put a doctor. And we'll click done. We've got the title, we can just drag it to the beginning if we want it at the beginning. And that's pretty good. So now if we, I can close some of these tabs. Now if we go to the live form, and we can fill it in. This time we'll do Mr. And we'll do my name again my email address again, and we will submit. And we'll come back and we'll see that we've now got uh, a second row. This one has a title included. Now, in order to uh, include that, we'll actually have to go into the script and do a little bit of modifying. This might be a little tricky uh, if you weren't aware. So we'll have to go into the code here and under the data range, you'll see the data sheet dot get data range and then a parenthesis with uh, some numbers and variables in there. So what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to change this 4 to a 5 real quick because that is telling it the number of columns it should look at when filling in information. While we're in the code, we can also go down and we can find that the email subject here, this is where we could change the subject. So we could just change this to uh, form reply, and that will change the subject of our email. So going back to our spreadsheet, actually we should go back to the email and we should add this new column into the email. So we'll just go in here and we'll just type a dollar sign curly brace quote space and we'll just put in title in here. So now everything's looking good. We'll go back to the app script. We'll need to save this before we run it. Unlike other Google apps, uh, app script does not save automatically, so you have to save it. And then we'll just click run and send emails. Then if we go to my email, go to the inbox, you'll see I've actually gotten two emails because there are two rows, with both with the same email address. And you'll see that the first email that I got well, they don't actually send an order. This one has my title, and this one would not have my title because one row has a title and one row does not. So that is how you can uh, customize bulk emails uh, in Gmail. Uh, Google Apps Script allows you to do a lot of other really great things, but this is just one example. Um, but once you realize exactly how much power there is in the Google Apps scripts. Uh, I think you'll be interested in finding out uh, other ways you can program your Google Apps. So I hope this was helpful and uh, have fun with it.